We start our midweek edition tonight with a success story for one of our local amateur boxers. Peter Lewison is back home after conquering his first opponent in the New York Golden Gloves boxing competition. Peter Lewison silenced the crowd. <laughs> Not many people can say they silenced the crowd in the Big Apple. But rising talent Peter Lewison did just that last weekend at the Bishop Kearney High School in Brooklyn. Fighting out the yellow corner, Lewison stops top prospect Michael Menzi in the first round. Everybody was cheering for him. He was a very popular guy and everything. Mm -hmm. And as soon as me and him started it, and I stung him the first time, mm -hmm. everybody just silenced. <laughs> the first couple of blows that I got from him, because he landed the first blows, mm -hmm. they were very heavy. Mm -hmm. So they were straight punches, so I tried to stay under them. I stayed low. I worked the body. Mm -hmm. As soon as I attacked the body, I realized I hurt him. His straights were weaker, and then mm -hmm. he couldn't defend my straights. Mm -hmm. While in New York, Peter trains with the world-famous Gleason Gym. But back home now, Peter is keeping his fists of steel busy, working out with national coach Donny Anglin in an attempt to join the prestigious list of Golden Gloves champs. No, I got no doubts in my mind that I'm not going to win the Golden Gloves. I know I'm going to get the Golden Gloves champion. Peter returns to New York later on this month for his second bout of the series, and he's continuing his challenge to become a Golden Gloves champion. Back, to, back at home now, local student, uh, student athletes got some advice on the best ways to go in search of higher learning. A scholastic workshop was held last weekend at the Mary Miller Hall for local players hoping and praying of a chance to compete on the U.S. collegiate circuit. Technical director for the Bodentown Football Club, Albert McLean, there in the background in the red shirt, listening to organizers give some important advice to those seeking college scholarships. A lot of kids who have an opportunity to have the ability academically and athletically to play sports in the United States don't know how to how to get the process started and this is an to the field of dreams we go now for a report on last Saturday's Humane Society's kickball competition some 22 teams took part in the tournament aimed at raising funds for the Humane Society's programs players testing their skills in the fun competition which ran very late in the evening raising thousands of dollars for the non-profit organization. Hey, we've had an amazing turnout. Uh, we were hoping for 24 teams. We ended up having 22, a couple dropped out. But still, look at the amount of people here. It's amazing. We're trying to raise about $15,000 for the Humane Society. We're trying to buy a new x-ray machine for our spay and neuter clinic. And KMAT 27's team fought gallantly throughout the competition and just faltered in the semifinal to the eventual winners, Beaver Hunters. They shared the title on the final day. And switching gears to some drag racing before we punch the throttle out of here. It was a record-breaking weekend at Breakers last week. Some of Saturday night's action saw a new record set in the quarter mile for motorcycles. Victor Gauthier pushes his 2004 Suzuki GSX-R to the limit, covering the quarter mile trip in, get this, 5.82 seconds with a top speed of 123 miles per hour. Some big speed at Breakers. His machine was just one of the many on show over the weekend as some drag racers started the year attending to their need for speed.